This is my favorite Never World Generation yet. It is a piglin bastion surrounded by the two best Minecraft biomes, the brand new warp forest biome and the brand new crimson forest biome. But then also, if you go to the very back of that crimson forest biome, between the trees hidden away in a little cave at the back of the world, you'll see how there's actually another piglin bastion. And this isn't the last of the piglin bastions you'll be finding on this seed. It's an amazing Never World seed that I'm gonna be sharing in today's video because it took a lot of time to find. I used the brand new chunk base uh, Piglin Bastion tool finder uh, and I searched hundreds of seeds and this is the best one I found so allow me to introduce you to Seed Sunday. But first allow me to introduce you to the seed IBX 130. If you type that into your seed field then what you'll generate with is a really interesting world spawn because obviously you don't spawn in the nether but you can spawn on something which is almost as interesting and hostile. It is a island in the middle of a giant ocean with just some trees to survive on. You also have a little bit of grass you can try and convert into some wheat but this is a bit of a challenge spawn because as a forest you won't be finding many mobs but instead you have to try and make do you have to make a boat you have to do something if you want to get to the nether we're going to assume that you make your base here or that you and you know you try to live that kind of life because if you do go to the nether right here or if better yet you head to the mainland in this direction because there are many great things that can be found around the spawn such as this island right here found at the coordinates you can see in the top left where there's rabbits there's pumpkins and there's bees as well as a flower forest so you can get those rare flowers that would otherwise be lacking on a survival island. Again, you've got many options uh, you can check out, but let's assume that you managed to go to the nether on this little bit of a challenge. Let's assume you go to the nether from your starting island, because again, I really like the idea of having this be your spawn because of the uh, fact that even if you are successful, you can kind of exile new players to this island, remove the trees, and lock them down there till you want to deal with them. But once you go to the nether from here, from pretty much any point on the island, you'll get roughly the same nether spawn in this crimson forest, but it's not the crimson forest that I'd recommend settling down in. I mean, it's sure, it's a nice biome. It's the best of the never biomes, uh, many would say. Um, but anyway, hello, I'm Abyx Cat. Welcome back to Seed Sunday, the weekly series where I show you seeds for Minecraft, which are particularly interesting and worth checking out in some way. And in today's Seed Sunday, I'm going to be recommending that instead you just head all the way in this direction. It might require some bridging or a strider, again, uh, in survival. Uh, your, your options are a little bit uh, challenging, but I'm going to recommend heading in this direction because the first and most important part of this seed is going to be found over here. It's the first piglin bastion. This is honestly kind of the holdover bastion. It's the one you find on the way to the others. It's not quite as close to the others as I would like, but it's still far closer to the next Piglin Bastion than you should find on average. Piglin Bastions can be 800, 1,000 blocks apart. In some cases, on some unlucky seeds, you can spend thousands of blocks looking for one of these guys. And to find a Piglin Bastion and then only to head another couple hundred blocks away, seriously, you're not going to believe how close it is um, You know, from that Piglin Bastion to this little cave over here where you find another one. And again, that is the furthest distance between two piglin bastions. I'm going to be pointing out today that was a long trek. Wow, it sure was hard. Need to refuel and uh, you know restock myself in this lovely little piglin bastion hidden away in a little cave, by the way. That's the thing I love about this bastion. If you don't know it's there and if you really want to hide it, you can do so more. If you don't know it's there, it's really hard to find because there only are these entrances in and out which are super low down and pretty hideable if you want to. Again, it doesn't take much nevrak to hide this entrance. It doesn't take much nevrak to hide that entrance. And then to leave you with just this one entrance into the Crimson Forest, a delightful looking biome. And that is a really great thing by itself. Again, we'll ignore for now the fact that there's so many benefits of being over here, such as, you know, all these chests you have access to, the piglins you can trade with, all that wonderful stuff. We'll just say, oh yeah, it's a big bastion. You know what to do with it. You know all the gilded uh, blackstone you can get your hands on, which is incredibly rare. So um, let's head through this forest and let's talk about the cream de crop of this. What, what is the phrase? Cream... To cream of the crop, creme de la fresh. You know, one of those words um, off this seed, because as you can see, heading over here, here is the Piglin Bastion from the start of this video. It is a pretty dangerous one because it spawned right above lava. Again, I always love the look of these, but obviously in survival, it's a bit of a practicality challenge because no one wants to fall in the lava. So be very careful with this particular um, Bastion Remnants. You want to be extra careful not to fall in the lava here would be my recommendation. Um, but if you don't fall in the lava, then you can enjoy the spoils of a single glowstone block that has somehow spawned there naturally. That is for real. You can check this out yourself. And uh, you can enjoy the spoils of a Bastion, which is multi-layer and sticks, again, all those layers kind of interact with the terrain in a very interesting way until it floats perfectly on top of the lava. Again, very enjoyable by itself. But you know what's more enjoyable than a Bastion, which is 
a again, I, I love the way this is kind of out and proud as opposed to the other ones which are hidden away. But also, there is a ruin portal right next door to it, which means gold blocks even more of them are for you. And also, some crying obsidian. And also, just in case you want to make a portal back home, all you got to do is break two of these. You got to get some obsidian from the chest. And then you got to finish it up and you can go back to the overworld, which um, again, I mean, re in reality, you can make never portals wherever you want. But it's another nice feature because it looks, you know, if you, if you do renovate this and you do convert it, it's kind of a little project to tide you over and to bring you back to the overworld. But even if we discount the ruined portal entirely and we just say, hey, there's a nice piglin bastion here, there is something delightful about this part of the nether that you won't find in many nevers, and that is the fact that it has a crimson forest right next to a warp forest, and then it has that warp forest right next to a crimson forest, again and again and again in lots of different places, in a way that gives you this huge forested area, and the reason you want these two biomes next to each other, because warp forests are filled with endermen, but like, do you really want endermen, you might say? Uh, do you really like the blue colors of it? Personally, I love the look of this biome, but maybe you prefer the look of the Crimson Forest, but the reason you need to care about one of these two biomes as the best is because neither of these biomes will spawn in ghasts. Look around me, do you see any ghasts? No, you do not. This is a perfect ghast-free zone, and so it's, it's perfect to set up your house because you only have to deal with Endermen while you're in this biome and Piglin and Hoglins while you're in this biome, and again, Piglins just wear a bit of gold and they'll ignore you, and then you that means you really have Hoglins, which are a source of food, and Endermen, a source of enderpearls, great for beating Minecraft and also great for uh, you know getting around real fast. It's a delightful uh, biome pairing and also on top of that I think they're just the two best looking biomes. Something about seeing this whole area right here again there is this this seed is begging for you to make a uh, little island in the center of all of this maybe surrounded by this uh, this little love pillar but there is th this is a perfect seed for settling down the never. If you want a never base here is the place because as you can see it's a bastion it's a warp forest, it's a crimson forest, and if I didn't mention already, there is another piglin bastion that you can find uh, without too little effort. You actually have to, again, this one's very hidden away. Here's the way you reach it, and I know this seems dumb, but I really want to stress just how amazing this is, um, but you do have to head under here, so you have to make your own pathway, because otherwise you'll get burned as you go. But here you can see there is another piglin bastion, another bastion remnant, and this one is even more hidden than the previous ones because of the fact that it is mostly found uh, within this lava encased cage. So Seriously, getting into this thing is a nightmare that you can only really do by digging through the walls. Most people who pick up this seed naturally would not know about this, but you, uh, dear viewer, can see it wonderfully right now. And even better, there are some caves that link this uh, fruit to here. And with just a little expansion of this cave, all of a sudden you end out in the Crimson Forest, which brings you perfectly to this other Piglin Bastion. So that is really cool. Three Piglin Bastions in a triangle of each other, only 150-ish blocks away, is kind of wonderful. But in case you don't care about that third one because it's so exposed and you kind of like the ones that have nice, easy to access floors, then something else you could just totally give a whirl is uh, making a tunnel right through here. So I dug an 80 block long tunnel. It's two blocks high, two blocks wide, it's three blocks high and three blocks wide actually. But as you can see, we dug this tunnel and with just a singular tunnel, which we could put a blue ice boat in or anything like that, just in case 80 blocks is too far to walk, we can end up in the second Piglin Bastion. Isn't that delightful? Uh, in reality, I think the benefits of having more than one Piglin Bastion, besides the Gilded Blackstone and the other Blackstone benefits are somewhat limited, but in reality, I think most people would just find it cool regardless. And to have this, again, be mostly located in the two best Minecraft biomes, that is an absolute win as far as I, I'm concerned. And that is why this seed and uh, all of the wonder uh, wonderful benefits that come along with it are something I'm going to be recommending for all of you. If you want a great never seed and you're willing to go a little bit away from spawn in exchange for the privacy and the benefit of these biomes, then IBX 130 is the seed I am recommending today. And I hope you all enjoyed this video where I showcased it and told you about all the delightful things that you should check out. Um, this is obviously the first Seed Sunday in the 1.16 era, and um, if you are uh, you know, excited for more of them, let me know. And also let me know if you want to see more folks on the overworld, because even though these are Never Seeds, not everyone's going to spend all of their time in the Never. It's just I really like the Never on this Seed. I mean, I don't like the Basalt Delta so much, but you got to respect that there is a big one. In case you are that guy who's like, I really like magma creams, and I don't really care about anything else. Oh, this Strider's in here. You know, actually, I like this biome now. It's cute. It's got Striders. But anyway, um, this, this is a very interesting uh, seed. I like it. And if you like it, then make sure to like this video and let me know. You can also share it if you really liked it. And you can turn on that notification bell because, you know, if, if you'll see more of my videos. And as a YouTuber, I want you to do that. Um, so, yeah, join, join the club, get subscribed, and I'll see you 
in the next one. Good. Bye.